What's up guys, Apple Tech Spot here, and as promised, in this video, I'm going to be showing guys how to downgrade iOS 9.1 to 9.0.2 so that you could jailbreak your device. Let's say you opened up iTunes on your computer, a pop-up popped up <laughs> asking you if you want to update to iOS 9.1 and you accidentally hit update. All right guys, so you wanna do this as soon as possible because Apple will block this method and you will not be able to do it anymore. At some point, Apple will stop signing iOS 9.0.2 and again, you will no longer be able to downgrade. So again, do this as soon as possible before that happens. But anyways, just to show you guys my device is running iOS 9.1. I'm going to open up settings, head over to general, and about and here as you guys could see my device is running ios 9.1 so i just updated and i'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade so what you want to do first is plug your device into your computer once your device is plugged in all right so what you guys will want to do first is download the ios 9.0.2 software file so it is a .ipsw file and this is what you guys will need and to get this, I will have links down below in the more info. Just go ahead and open up Safari, and here's that link. So all you guys want to do is scroll down and click on the one for your device. So for me, I had the iPhone 6S, so I downloaded this one. But anyways, once you have the file, it should look like this. And if it doesn't say .ipsw at the end, what you want to do is click on it, click on enter, and then delete whatever it says at the end, and then just type in .ipsw. Then hit enter, and you guys are basically set. So once you guys have this file, what you want to do, again, is plug your device into your computer, open up iTunes, and what you want to do now is if you're on Windows, hold down the Shift key and click on Restore iPhone. And on Mac, hold on the Option key and click on Restore iPhone. Now you guys can also click on Check for Update if you guys don't want to lose any of your data. So again, on Windows, hold on the Shift key and click on Check for Update. And on Mac, hold on the Option key and click on Check for Update. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a fresh install. So I'm going to click on Restore. So I am on Mac, so I'm gonna hold on the Option key and click on Restore iPhone. And as you guys can see right here, it says Find My iPhone must be turned off. So I'm going to turn off Find My iPhone. Okay, so once you have turned off Find My iPhone, again, do the same thing. Okay, and I'll bring this up. Go ahead and search for your IPSW file. I put mine on my desktop, so here it is. Click on it, and then click on Open. And you guys are basically done. Just click on Restore, and as you can see right here, it says iTunes will erase and restore your phone to iOS 9.0.2. So click on Restore, and it is basically almost done. All you have to do now is wait, and once it is done, your device will be back on iOS 9.0.2, and then you can jailbreak. iOS 9.1 definitely has some cool features, but giving up a jailbreak for iOS 9.1, I would much rather have a jailbreak, to be honest. But again, soon enough, we will have an iOS 9.1 jailbreak. I'll keep you guys completely posted on that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wait for my iPhone to restore, and I'll be right back. So guys, it is done, and I just want to say that if iTunes does get stuck, what you want to do is just unplug your device from your computer, and then plug it back in, and then rerun the process again, and then it should go through. But anyways, here we are at the setup screen, I'm going to go and unlock my device, and go through the setup real quick. So guys, here we are, it says, welcome to iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock or get started, and here we are. Now if I go and open up the settings application on my device, head over to general, and then let's do about. As you guys can see right here, the downgrade was successful. We are now on version 9.0.2. So it did work perfectly fine, and here we are back on iOS 9.0.2, and now I can go ahead and jailbreak this device. Very awesome stuff. So again guys, if you do want to jailbreak, do this quick as Apple is going to patch this method, and it will no longer be working. And who knows how long it will be before we see a new jailbreak for iOS 9.1. Alright, so enjoy jailbreaking your device. If this video helped, please leave me a like. That does help out the channel a ton. I truly do appreciate it and share this video to let people know before Apple does stop signing iOS 9.0.2. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is Apple Tech Spot, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.